speak with uh, Josh Gowling after Hereford's 1-1 draw with Chorley. Uh, what's he going to take to win a match? That's a bit of an unfair comment, isn't it, Keith? <laughs> you know, what do you have to do? Because you played really well. Yeah, we have played well. We've put the ball in the back of the net. So, um, I thought we were excellent. That's the best we've been all season. It's probably the, one of the best performances we've had um, since I've been here. But you miss opportunities like that. You um, leave yourself open to 1-0. 95th minute or whatever it is. We were calling and end up scoring. So, really disappointed. Um, you know, you look at the last three games. We've got one point out of the last three games. And for me, we should have at least six on the board, at least. So really disappointed. Um, yeah, there's a, there's fine margins, but I just think we didn't have small chances. We had clear cut chances to kill the game off. You appear to have told the players to express themselves. Look, go on. You've got it's firming up a little bit in terms of numbers. So you know, just go and try and express yourself on the pitch. Look, we have ways of playing, patterns of playing, all that stuff. It's difficult when you don't have the players to do it. Um, and you know, we've got players back now. Uh, I thought Marco. Um, has made a massive difference since coming to the team. Um, but obviously having full-backs back, um, Ty's had a bit of a rest, and now Ty looks like he's reinvigorated. Um, Jack Holmes is starting to realise what we want from him in terms of in-possession, out-possession. So it just means that you know you can let your creative players go and be creative and, and know that you've got Jeff Rowe supporting and, and obviously the two centre half. So, yeah, it's, it's been it's been good. Um, Rao's been good in the, in the group, actually, you know, considering the run we've been on. Um, but we've been putting in really good performances. But... You want to put in good performances win, don't you? And that's for me. That's that stuff is like a loss today. You're a little bit critical of switching off at Kings Lynn at the weekend. Yeah. Do you feel it happened again? It shouldn't do in the 94th minute. But how come Chorley got such a late equal? No, we've looked at the goal back. Uh, we have a zone, um, and the zone got sucked into them ringing the keeper, and that opened up the space. Um, you know, we spoke to the lads about if they're in the keeper, it doesn't matter. They're keeping his zone, keep high, and we didn't do that. And because we didn't do that, it enabled the space for him to go and, and, and score the goal. But, hey, we're talking about a goal in the 19th, fifth minute, or wherever it was. Realistically, that don't happen if you score, you know. I mean, if, if it was 2-3-0, would you would you be moaning? No, you wouldn't. So, yeah, disappointed. It's a question of getting that second goal. The chances were there, you hit the post, and one off the line, and home should have scored with about, what, 15 minutes to go? Yeah, I, I mean, Keynes was the easiest one, wasn't it? I think it was harder to uh, hit the post than it was to score. I think he was about one yard out. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're what we're doing at the moment. Obviously, they like say Jack's come through. I mean, Jack had a good chance at Kingsden as well to make it 2-0. He had a good chance today to make it 2-0. Look, but he's getting in those areas, which is pleasing. Um, but, like you say, we've got to put games to bed. And at the moment, we're playing well, we're not putting games to bed. Spending more away at the weekend. Um, not a long trip, but are you looking forward to that? What's that, one out of 12? Oh, no, was it 12 out of 17 or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, always looking forward to that. No, yeah, look. Given they're... that you're away for my cave, people say, oh, it's not too hot, but... You're up, well, certainly top seven away performances. Yeah, um, but we're playing well. So, you know, you take that today. Um, they're tenth or wherever they are in the league. And they're, a, you know, I know Priestley Wild, the manager, he got some organised. I don't think they'll have a harder game than that that they've had to, to today all season. Um, they've got some really good players on their side, and I thought we nullified them for most of the game. But spending more is a different different task. I think they've got a bit of a, more of a slope than what we've got there. So, um, but no, we, we've got to go there and we're going to look to get three points. Marco. Roos, give a word for him. I thought he was an exceptional home debut. Like Marco Royce, isn't he? So. <laughs> no, he's brilliant. He was obviously he had his first game at Kingsley, uh, a difficult game because he hadn't trained with us. But I mean, he, he's for his age, he's nineteen, and you know his, his athleticism, his work rate, and I think that the big thing is, and, and a lot of our young lads should look at him that have come from you know pro clubs is the other side of the game. And I think sometimes these lads get caught in 23s and they don't want to work and, and rat and tackle and head things. And he wants to do that at a 19 year old, but also he's got the quality going the other way and he, you know, he deserves that at the end. And, you know, for, for me, he's um, been an outstanding player so far. Looks a very exciting player and the supporters who haven't seen him really ought to come, I reckon. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Turn up. <laughs> yeah, no, he's brilliant. Obviously, we've got Harry. Harry's been off the hill. So we've got Harry to come back. Obviously, we've still got Aaron to come back. We've got Skip to come back. We've got Lloydie to come back yet, so once we get, you know, you know, you look at, I was just speaking in there to some of, um, you know, Young and some of the staff, and you look at that moment at the end, and you have your experienced players in there, they see you over the line, and I think playing Kings Lynn, playing Darlow, we've probably not had that experience, we've probably been a bit naive, and that's probably what's cost us, so it'd be good to get those players back, and then hopefully we can start coming to that table. Having said all of that, though, you need the expression of youth and the enthusiasm, which these young players have now given their oh, yeah hundred well, percent look that's why we've got the balance and um, that's why we've got these some of the older players in you know and look if the lads keep playing the way they're playing some of the lads don't get back in do they that's the reality of it but what we do have is a group 
in the training ground, like pushing people on, you know, pushing good habits and all that stuff. So, you know, we've got to keep pushing. Look, we've got, we know where we want to be coming into the season. And, you know, we've started putting some targets on ourselves now, uh, point wise for the next five games. So we're one point close out, but we need to start getting away from down there and, and looking up there. Thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you. You have to kind of modify how you play at Spenny more because obviously, I'm guessing the pitch is <laughs> di- different to today's pitch in a way from home. Yeah, so, I mean, their pitch is normally not bad, to be fair. So, you know, we'll have a look at it. Obviously, I'll probably wake up tomorrow morning, see Vin, uh, watch our game back. Um, we'll do analysis from our game and then we'll be straight on to, to looking at the way they play. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at it. Um, you know, we'll, we'll play a team that we think's going to be best to win the game and a, and a shape and a formation that's going to be best to win the game. So, yeah, we'll have a look at that. And how um, how close has, has obviously Jared Hodgkiss back out there doing a bit of warming up with the lads? Yeah, Yaz has trained a couple of times. Still, his knee's still a bit sore. Uh, Lloydy um, was sprinting yesterday, which is pleasing. That's probably the first time he sprinted, and I don't know how long he's been out now. Um, so he's not far away, and Aaron's probably still a you know a week or two away from from getting back in. And also, we've had Dino train yesterday for the first time, which is pleasing. So, you know, we've, we've we've started to get some really good experience back. What did Aaron go out with? Groin. He, he had a shot in training uh, last Tuesday and he just felt his groin. So he's got, um, I don't know if he's got a bit of a grade one in his groin. So yeah, just monitoring that. Okay. Great.